Hey everyone, Courtney here with Southern Owls and I wanted to show you this really cute tutorial um, that I'm going to make with these really fun um, metal dome lanterns. I actually have these for sale on my website. I only have very limited sets, so if you're interested in them, you can go and grab them on my website, thesouthernowls.com. They come in white and red. So we're going to design with them today. So the tops come off. There's a little assembly required if you do purchase them off the website, okay? So they do come in pieces, and um, I put a, I drew a circle where my candle, let me show that up. I drew a circle, and then I spray foamed this around, okay, because I wanted to add greenery. So I got these flameless candles at Walmart. Isn't that so, so, so cute? So we are going to design uh, the foam. And what I'm gonna do is I have this really, oh, this really cool bundle. Now I got this last year, but you can buy similar bundles like this at Hoblob, Walmart. And it's really great because all of this matches already. So there's no thinking, like everything goes together, everything matches. So I'm using this today. I already cut it up. So it wouldn't take me forever. And we're just going to start layering all of these pieces in. And um, we're going to make these really pretty little dome lanterns. Now these are going to go outside. These are going to go outside um, on my porch. And so we're just going to start covering, um, covering them up a little bit, covering up this foam. I am using my Sure Bonder glue pot, like always. Oh, that guy has a weird... A weird little thing on him, doesn't he? There we go. So I'm just going to start layering this around. And we are going to add some white berries. I did get these at market, my friends. So I I can't tell you where to buy them because I did. I'm so sorry. I got them at market. So we're just going to go around in a circle. And we are just doing this for some coverage. I might have to make a little pre-hole for some of this. Hold on, let me get a little, sorry, my big old head. Let me get a little sticky. There we go. <laughs> I was like, we might have to pre-do some holes because this is, this is a thinner type thing. So if, if you come into that situation, all you have to do is poke your foam, okay? with a wooden dowel or this is a leftover stick that I have from from this and uh, you can just pierce that foam before you get going if you have never used spray foam before I do have a little fast forward video um, on my channel that you can kind of watch and see see how I did this but the cool thing about the spray foam is if something like this is metal right so it'd be you can't really hot glue something to this it wouldn't stick right so you couldn't put the foam the normal foam that we use on this it just it just wouldn't work out for us so if you use the spray foam on metal it it's not going anywhere it's nice and thick Whew. And I love it. I get my spray foam from Home Depot, but you can get them. You can get that everywhere. You can get that everywhere. Okay. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to. No problem. I'm just going around, kind of filling this up, and then we're going to, you know, keep on adding some layers. I'm going kind of in the inner part of the ring and the outer part. Just filling this up because we're going to put this candle. Oh, this is going to be so pretty. So, so pretty. So we're just going to keep on, keep on, keeping on. How's everyone doing today? I hope you're having a great day. Do you like to decorate your front porch? I do. So these are going to go, these are going to go on my front porch. I think they're going to be really pretty. 
rustic winter vibe. And these could really honestly stay on my front porch after Christmas because I'm not doing anything that's like super, super Christmassy, you know? It's really just going to be more of a winter, winter vibe. And like I said, I do have these available, just the bases. They don't come decorated. It's just the bases, and they come as a set. So you're going to get the large and the small, the large and the small. And like I said, I only have a few. So if this is something that you're liking, make sure you go and you grab them uh, before they're sold out. Because I'm not getting any more. Um, I just, I fell in love with these at market. I got them at market. And I was like, oh, I need these. <laughs> I need these. So these won't be a reorder or anything like that. It's just something that I thought were really cool. And um, I thought y'all would like them too. I thought y'all would like them too. So I bought a couple extras for the shop. I'll show you the red ones too. Um, they're really pretty, really rustic. Rustic, very rustic. I love that though. Y'all know me and my farmhouse, rustic vibes. I'm always here for that. I'm always here for that. <laughs> I think I have a piece of hair. Hold on. <laughs> Does anyone else shed? I shed so bad, y'all. My hair. It's, it's surprising that I have any left, honestly. I shed so much. Which is, I know, it's normal. I'm a hairdresser. I know it's normal, but it's just, it's just a little crazy sometimes how much, how much we shed. Okay, so we're just, I'm going in the inner and the outer, just kind of creating creating a little base, okay, and then we're going to add in some more elements. We're just laying the groundwork right now. And like I said, I'm using a Sure Bonder glue pot is what I like to use. You can get them on Amazon. And the glue, that's another question I get asked. The glue, um, I get from Amazon, too. I buy it in bulk. I joke, and I say it's like a yearly, su this yearly supply of glue. Uh, it's called Crystal Clear. It comes in different sizes. I, I get the mega size. I get the huge, the huge pack of it because I know I'm going to need it. I know I'm going to need it. So I do. I buy, <laughs> I buy the big, big pack of it. Okay, so we're just piercing this. Oh, that's got a weird. Let me cut that. Some of this stuff was connected ooh, to each other, so I needed to tear it off. All right, we're just poking that foam with a stick, with a dowel rod that we have, and just inserting. So if you have some greenery that needs a little extra, a little extra help, that's what you can do. And I'm just making sure that we clean those ends off um, so they will stick into our foam. And what I'm going to do, I'm just really going to leave this greenery uh, and berries. I don't want to put any other florals. I just want this to be really winter looking. Um, I don't think it needs florals, especially since we're putting that candle in there. I think it's going to be perfect. As you can see, my, my spray foam skills right here weren't, <laughs> weren't the best. <laughs> 
It's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, I was about to dig my dowel rod into the glue. That would have been hilarious. I would have had to get another dowel rod. Okay. Put that candle here. Oh, yeah. That's going to be... Oh, my gosh. I'm loving it already. Okay, we got a few more little pieces. Redo some holes. Are y'all ready for Christmas? Are y'all all decorated? I haven't started on the trees, but I will... We're going to start that soon. Would y'all like some tree tutorials on YouTube? Let me know. Let me know if that's something that y'all would be interested in. Some how-to Christmas tree stuff. Okay, so we got that greenery going around. Now I'm going to add in, I got some pine bushels. So I'm just going to go around. How many do I have? I might have to cut some more of these, but, oh, we got a good amount. We could, we should be good. We should be good. Okay. I'm going to start spreading these around. And I'm just going now in the middle. We're just trying to really make sure that we're covering up that foam. And I'm going about every, every oh, three inches. And we got more elements to add. This is going to be beautiful. What do y'all think so far? Is this something that y'all would be interested in making yourselves? I think it's going to be so pretty. And these are going to look so good outside on my front porch. Now, I do have a covered front porch. Let's talk about that. If you're putting stuff out, you need to make sure that you do have a covered front porch because these would totally, totally get rusted out. So make sure if you're doing this, and if you buy these, that these are out of the elements because you don't want you don't want these to get ruined. I have some singles. Okay. This one looks like it can use right there. Let's do it right there. Perfect. Okay, so now we got that pine going in, okay? So now I have this beautiful eucalyptus. Actually, no, let's add these next. Let's do these. These are a little thinner, wispier item I thought would be cute. I did cut these in half, so I think I'm just going to start placing these in. Yeah, that would be good. Let's do these first. I kind of like to do wispy stuff first, and then we'll add in. We'll add in the bigger stuff in just a bit. Do y'all do any traditions for Christmas? Um, we always go look at Christmas lights somewhere in Houston. Um, I think this year, though, the Forping County Fairgrounds, which isn't too far away from my house, is doing a Christmas light, I think a Christmas light show. And so I think, I think we're going to try that out this year because we, we love to do new things every year.
You know, it'd be really cute too, guys. If oh, sorry, that was so loud. That was right by the microphone. My speaker turned off. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I was listening to music before I went live. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. You're all like, what was that? Um. Oh gosh, I lost my train of thought now. I lost my train of thought now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh well. Okay. Moving on from that because I forgot. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Oh, I know we were talking about Christmas. Oh my goodness. So funny. Sorry about that. I know that was probably loud. I'm so sorry. Okay, so we got lots of fun greenery. Okay, now we're going to add in. I got this really fun eucalyptus. Yes. Let me, let me cut these little guys off a little bit. Yeah. Let me just pull them. Yep, there we go. All right, we're going to add in some eucalyptus. Oh, that's what I was going to say. You know what else would be a fun idea for this um, lantern piece, too? is if you already had one of those like little mini um, evergreen bases, like a little one, you could literally just put that down and add some berries to it and, and call it a day, right? That would be really cute too. That'd be really, really cute. I'm just pulling these bottom ones off. Sorry, I should have done that off camera. Taking up a little time. And I'm just really kind of keeping that circle pattern going. Kind of swirling everything. What theme do you like to, or what theme do you decorate your house in? Um, this year I'm switching out my Christmas tree to a glam gingerbread. So I can't wait to show you all that. I'm waiting. I'm ordering it. I needed a few more things. So once those items come in, um, I will decorate my main tree. But in the meantime, um, I do a green monster tree, a Grinch tree, if you're unfamiliar what green monster is. Um, I do a Grinch tree in the kids' playroom, so I'll probably tackle that one pretty soon. Um, and I can do some how-to tutorials um, on how to do certain things in the tree. They're so funny. I love to put big elements in my trees. And <laughs> I have a, a Grinch booty right to put in the tree and my daughter goes mom are you gonna put that Grinch booty in the tree <laughs> and I said yes and she goes no <laughs> she didn't want it it was so funny that those are the moments I wish I had on camera because she is she can be so funny I think I'd rather that be the top right You can be so funny. So if you're new here, um, I have two children. I have a eight year old son now, which is crazy. And I have a four year old daughter. And they, they are hilarious y'all. They keep me on my toes. You never know what's going to come out of my four year old's mouth. <laughs> She's so funny. She is so, so funny. I live in the Houston, Texas area. So welcome in if you're new. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more of this eucalyptus like closer to the candle because I'm liking it.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty pretty. Just a few, just a few by the candle. Have you ever used spray foam before? Is that something y'all have done before? I love using it. I, I can't remember what designer I was watching use it and I was like, oh wow, that's, <laughs> well, isn't that just genius? Okay, that's, that's turning out really pretty. Yes, okay. All right, guys, now I have a little bit of these little, I only have four of these. So we'll put in these little pine bushes here in the air. This is some more texture element. I only have four, so I have to be strategic where I put these. That's pretty. Hey, okay. it's coming, coming along. Okay, put the little bottle brushes in there. Super, super cute. Okay, we're gonna kind of start manipulating. I'm not too worried about the bottom foam because we're going to put that on top, the casing. And so it's going to smush these a little bit. So I'm not too worried of, about that. Okay, so now let's add in. It'd be too thick. I just want little. Yes. Okay, so we're going to have to pre- Here's these, because these um, berries are thin. <gasps> mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Oh, I love that. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, so we're going to start adding in these berries. we got to pre-drill our holes, though, because these are flimsy. Don't think you're supposed to cut them up, but I do. You know what? This is Courtney's world, and we do whatever I want. <laughs> we do it. We make it happen. We make it work. Mm hmm. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. I love these berries. Just really adds another little element, right? And it just pulls it all together, adding in. Some berries. At these guys too. And I'm like, oh, should I cut them in half? I don't know. I don't know. We'll wait till the end. That will be the grand finale. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I love it. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. Let me see, do I want a wispy one, right? Or a thicker? Let's do a thicker one, I think. 
Ooh, I gotta be careful that I don't glue everything or my fingers. Back, back. And don't be afraid to like get your hands in there and maneuver stuff. Oh yes. Okay, hold on, hold on. I don't know, should I put the crab apples? I don't think these are called crab apples, but mm, maybe we should cut them in half. We cut them in half. It's gonna be risky. I think so though. And we just put like boop boop. I think we should. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have cut them. They're kind of hidden now. <laughs> oh, that's the top, isn't it? Okay, let's put this one maybe more in the front then. Mm-hmm. Okay, I like it. I think I need a little berry, though, right there. Just a little one. Mm hmm Yep. Mm hmm Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. Okay, let's... Turn on our candle, our flameless candle. And like I said, I got those at Walmart and they come in all different sizes. Okay, so look how cool this is. So this is the top. You can always add a bow. Um, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait until I decorate my whole front porch to see what I wanna add to it. Oh yeah, that is perfect. Hold on, I've got some greenery over here I gotta snag out real quick mm -hmm. am i on yes <gasps> how cute is that yep i love it i love it so this is the big one okay so this is the big size and then here's the small one I'm only going to decorate the big one because I know y'all don't love these tutorials. So I'll do that one off camera. Um, but be looking for pictures of these. And like I said before, these, just the lantern parts, are available um, in my shop. And see, this one's a smaller, smaller candle that I'm going to use for this one. And let me show you, let me show you the red ones. Okay, here's the red ones. I have spray foam in this one too because it's gonna we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna do red berries and some greenery, but look how cool. Look how cool the red is. I you know me. You know me in farmhouse, okay? And then here is here's the smaller size. Isn't these beautiful? They're so beautiful. And I love, I just love the tops of them. So you can grab this set on my website, thesouthernhouse.com. It comes without spray foam. It's just the domes, okay? It's just the, or the whole thing, but without the spray foam. <laughs> okay, so you can grab these on my website. They come as a set. You get the large and the small. And I have a couple red and a couple white sets in stock. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I greatly appreciate y'all. And I can't wait to craft with y'all again soon. Bye, everyone.